Bulolo Technical School now has four new workshops, two ablution blocks and 12 tanks, funded by the European Union at the cost of 4.5 million kina. The new workshops were commissioned last week by the National TVET Operations Acting Secretary Ruben Awe. Mr. Awe thanked the European Union for its support to TVET institutes in the country, saying it backs the Education Department's vision to provide equal opportunities, especially for high school dropouts. Uh, because, you know, we, we have been skilling, but we have been really more under skilling, not really meeting the requirements of the skilled labor, which the industry has identified. And uh, this project was set to really correct uh, those uh, requirements. The departments that got new workshops were the commercial vehicle, mechanical, carpentry, and metal fabrication departments. Each workshop was packaged with new tools. Class captain of the metal fabrication department said the new tools will add value to their training. Bulolo Technical School is among nine other TVET schools throughout the country who has received support from the European Union under the Human Resource Development Phase 2 program. The Bulolo Technical School support brings the total value of infrastructure funding by the EU to TVET centers to 37.5 million kina. Manager of the school, Bomai Yawal, while thanking the EU, said the support will increase the level of learning and add to the standard of teaching at Bulolo Tech. A big impact to students when using all those uh, tools and equipment in terms of practical. Bulolo Technical School enrolls over 200 students annually, a bulk of them from Bulolo and some from other districts in the province and neighboring highlands provinces. It is the recent TVET center to receive EU support following Bodily Vocational School in Port Mosby. Charlene Airy, National MTV News, Lay.